Picture the Florida Everglades, a wild, humid expanse, alive with ancient cypress trees, wading birds, and lurking alligators. This vast, mysterious wetland stretches for miles, its waterways winding through dense sawgrass and shadowy groves. The air is thick with the calls of herons and the distant splash of something unseen. It's a place where nature's rules are written in tooth and claw, and every creature must fight to survive. But recently, a disturbing mystery has haunted this landscape. Scientists kept finding giant Burmese pythons, decapitated. These apex predators, once feared for their size and strength, were now turning up dead in alarming numbers, their massive bodies sprawled in the mud. These weren't isolated incidents, the pattern was clear, something was systematically killing and beheading these apex predators. Each new discovery sent a ripple of shock through the scientific community, raising more questions than answers. Burmese pythons, invasive giants that have devastated native wildlife, were suddenly the victims. For years, these snakes have been the terror of the Everglades, consuming everything from rabbits to deer, and even alligators. The scenes were always the same, a massive, lifeless coil, left behind as a grim warning. The sheer size of these snakes made their deaths even more shocking. The head brutally gnawed off, as if torn by something with immense power and determination. The wounds were savage, not the work of a quick kill, but of a struggle, sometimes partially buried, a sign the killer intended to return. The disturbed earth suggested a predator, with both cunning and strength, one that could drag and hide such a massive meal. The usual suspects, panthers, black bears, seemed unlikely to take on such dangerous prey in this way. Even these formidable hunters typically avoid full-grown pythons, wary of their crushing coils and lethal bite. The Everglades had become a crime scene, the invaders now the hunted, each carcass was a clue, each site a puzzle for biologists and rangers to unravel. For biologists, this was more than curiosity. It hinted at a shift in the balance of power. Something was changing in the ecosystem and the consequences could be profound. Was the natural order, so long disrupted, finally fighting back? Could a new predator be emerging, or was an old one adapting to a new threat? The mystery deepened. Who, or what, was the ghostly predator stalking the pythons. The evidence pointed to something clever, powerful, and elusive, moving under the cover of darkness. The answer would upend everything we thought we knew about this wild place, reminding us that in the Everglades, nature always has another secret waiting in the shadows. To understand the mystery at hand, you first need to know about the python problem that has gripped the Everglades. Burmese pythons, native to Southeast Asia, became surprisingly popular pets in the United States during the 1980s and 90s. Many owners, overwhelmed by their massive size and demanding care, released them into the wild. The Everglades, with its perfect subtropical climate and abundant prey, quickly became a python paradise. With no natural predators to keep them in check, their numbers exploded. One female can lay up to 100 eggs at a time. The result was a full-scale biological invasion, spreading rapidly across the region. Pythons decimated native mammals. Raccoons, opossums, bobcats, and even deer and alligators fell victim. Studies show native mammal populations have plummeted by over 85% in the core python zones, a staggering decline. Despite massive removal efforts, the snakes are masters of camouflage, making them nearly impossible to eradicate completely. The Everglades became a battleground, native species outmatched and overwhelmed by this foreign giant. For years, it seemed like a losing fight, until the headless python mystery suddenly emerged. Suddenly, the invincible invaders were the ones under threat, and the balance of the Everglades began to shift. Not all pythons are equal in the eyes of researchers. Some snakes become legends, not just for their size, but for the crucial roles they play in the ongoing battle to protect the Everglades. Loki, a massive male, was one such legend, a most valuable python. Outfitted with a radio transmitter Loki became a living beacon, a scout used by scientists to track elusive breeding females deep in the wild. By following Loki's movements, scientists were able to locate and remove hundreds of pounds of invasive pythons preventing thousands of potential hatchlings from ever seeing the light of day. Loki's work was vital in slowing the python invasion, but in May 2025, something changed. Loki's transmitter, once a steady signal in the marsh, suddenly went silent, leaving researchers anxious and puzzled. After days of searching, biologists tracked the faint signal to a remote hidden spot. There, they made a grim discovery. Loki, decapitated, his massive body partially buried in the earth, the loss was a blow to the team, but it also presented a rare opportunity. 
For the first time, they had a precise timeline and location for a python's mysterious death, an invaluable clue in a landscape full of secrets. This was no ordinary carcass. This was a chance for a full forensic investigation, something rarely possible in the wild. The team treated the site like a crime scene, carefully collecting evidence and samples, determined to unmask the phantom predator that had taken down their most valuable python. Loki's death, tragic as it was, could finally reveal the identity of the Everglades' most elusive killer, an animal that had managed to evade detection for years. The stage was set for a breakthrough, as the team prepared to dig deeper than ever before into the mysteries of the marsh. Would the clues left behind, tracks in the mud, strange markings and subtle signs, finally solve the riddle that had haunted researchers for so long? The answer, if found, would change everything about the fight for the Everglades, offering new hope in the struggle to protect this fragile ecosystem. And so, the hunt for the python killer began, a quest that would test the resolve and ingenuity of everyone involved. With Loki's body found, the team sprang into action, adrenaline surging as they realized the gravity of the discovery. Every detail at the scene could be a vital clue, and the pressure was on to piece together what had happened in the shadowy wilds of the Everglades. They examined the scene, the wounds, the partial burial, classic signs of a feline predator. The disturbed earth and scattered leaves told a silent story of struggle and stealth, hinting at a calculated attack. A necropsy revealed the attack was focused on the head, and embedded in the tissue were claw fragments. The precision of the wounds suggested a skilled hunter, one that knew exactly where to strike. The evidence pointed to a cat, but which one? A panther seemed unlikely. A bobcat, improbable. The team debated, weighing the odds and considering the habits of each elusive predator. To catch the culprit, they set up a motion-activated camera, hoping the killer would return to its cached meal. The forest was now under silent surveillance, every movement recorded in the hope of capturing the truth. The next morning they checked the footage, anticipation building with every click. Would the camera reveal the face of the mysterious predator? Their hearts raced as they scrolled through the images, each frame a potential breakthrough. The tension was palpable, the air thick with expectation. There it was. The predator, caught in the act, returning to feast on Loki. The night vision revealed a sleek shadowy figure, unmistakable in its intent. The photos were clear, undeniable. The evidence was now irrefutable, the mystery predator exposed for all to see. The ghost of the Everglades was about to be unmasked, its identity finally within reach after days of uncertainty. The answer was more surprising than anyone expected, challenging assumptions and rewriting what the team thought they knew about the local predators. The balance of power in the Everglades was shifting, as new evidence revealed a changing ecosystem and the rise of unexpected hunters. The mystery was about to be solved and the Everglades would never be quite the same again. The trail camera revealed the killer, a native bobcat, weighing just 25 pounds, half the size of its python prey. The bobcat, cool and confident, feasted on the massive snake it had slain. This was no scavenger, the necropsy and caching proved it was the killer. Bobcats are fierce but, taking down, a full-grown python, was unprecedented. By targeting the head, the bobcat neutralized the snake's deadly weapons. This was not luck, it was skill, perhaps even learned behavior. The discovery flipped the script. Native species weren't just victims, but fighters. The bobcat's victory was a symbol of resilience and adaptability. The Everglades underdog had struck back. The myth of the invincible python was shattered. Hope had returned to the wild. The bobcat's triumph shattered the myth of the untouchable python. For years, pythons were seen as apex predators with no natural enemies in Florida. Their size and strength made them seem invincible, until now. The bobcat's calculated attack showed native predators could adapt, even, to formidable invaders. This wasn't a fluke, it was a sign of rapid learning and evolution. The food web was no longer a one-way street, the prey had become the predator. The Everglades ecosystem was fighting back, rewriting the rules. Scientists now saw hope, the invader had an Achilles heel, the balance of power was shifting, and the native home team was learning to win. The python's reign was no longer absolute. Biologist Ian Bartoshek called it a win for the home team. The bobcat's victory was more than a fluke, it was a sign of nature's resilience. Other cases soon emerged. A black bear killed another python, alligators preyed on smaller snakes, 
cold snaps made python sluggish giving native predators an edge the Everglades was adapting, predators learning to hunt the invaders, this behavior could be passed down strengthening the ecosystem's defenses, the python was becoming prey, not just predator. Conservationists saw hope, the ecosystem wasn't broken, just evolving, human intervention remains vital, but nature itself is mounting a defense, the Everglades is fighting back, point by point, the story is no longer just one of loss, but of tenacity and adaptation. The home team is finally scoring. The wild is not giving up. The Bobcats' victory is a message of hope, not just for Florida, but for all who care about wild places. It proves nature can adapt, but it needs our help. Floridians now see their wildlife as tougher and more resourceful than ever. But the fight isn't over. Human action is still crucial. Education is key. Most of Florida's snakes are harmless, and understanding them is vital for coexistence. The python problem remains vast, but the ecosystem is learning to fight back. The Everglades' recovery will depend on both people and predators. The headless python mystery is a story of resilience and renewal. Nature, given a chance, can surprise us all. The home team is reclaiming its turf, one victory at a time.